Okay, here is a Earthship or passive solar house design. This could be a rammed earth. This could be a uh, uh, a cob house. It could be concrete. It could be mason. Uh, but anyway, what we've got here is, and if you're looking at this, you already know pretty much what I'm going to say, but I'm going to commentate it anyway. Give us a little commentary on this. Um, looking through this at the top, I'm going to start with the way I would build this house. And I would build with, start with a base building. This section right here as one big room or you could you could take one of these uh, arcs and you could mount it side by side here so you'd end up with one two three it look like a, uh, you'd have basically three rooms and then because uh, um, because as you go these will you can continue to add on to this keep going sideways and make it as big as you want um, but anyway we start with a base building you got to have a sleeping quarters, living quarters, and um, you know kitchen, and that sort of thing. Okay, the design idea here is that um, there is a corridor along the back to connect the rooms, and I, I like that uh, for the fact that it can uh, um, you can use this for uh, for cold storage. Because this is not this is going to be cooler than the rest of the house, um, and especially if you build it into a bank. But you've got skylights, so you can have light there. You can put uh, um, refrigeration equipment or uh, uh, food pantries. Um, you can put back here your uh, your solar controls, um, your batteries, your your controllers, and and all of that stuff. So basically all your mechanics can, can go back here and that does not uh, interfere with the rest of the house. Um, here they show a raised bed. I think I would like to see a raised bed near the kitchen. Um, I would utilize a raised bed area for uh, water storage, uh, store water underneath it. Um, here they have in this particular uh, model they have two um, to uh, two bathrooms off of the bedrooms and uh, they uh, I don't see showers in this particular one but um, you know this possibly could be a shower if, uh, if you wanted it to be um, okay uh, design ideas that I would not do would be to have two bathrooms um, I would have one central bathroom um, to keep the cost of, of construction down. I'd put it near the bathroom or near the kitchen and uh, near the water <coughs> storage. <coughs> the other thing is is uh, we can incorporate uh, some, uh, some rocket mass stove uh, technology here. Uh, you could put instead of all this furniture, you could put bench style um, wrap arounds here. You could put a through the wall here. So you could have a, uh, a bench style here. You could have a, a, a through the wall here, which in some, in some floor heating, lots of options. So your, um, your chimney could be mounted to the, to the exterior of the wall and then just blend it in. Um, when you're finishing the wall. Okay, so you get a full, full view of this all the way around. Let's look at the from the top angle. Here they have it coming out at, a, at an angle, but you know, eh, however, however it works for your particular application is how it will work the best. All right, now let's get out of this one. Just, oh, you know what? I wanted to show you 
uh, rocket stove number two. So let me pull that up real quick. Here's the rocket stove, uh, rocket heater number two. And with this one, not responding here. Okay. Um, with this one, this is the bench style. So again, the same thing. This was uh, rather the the, uh, the previous version was in uh, the most of the tubes were underground, and your fire pot actually would be this level right here would be your floor. Um, in this in this model, here's your floor. So everything is built on top of the floor, and then you build this bench. And this bench can be straight. They can come out this direction, make it an L shape. Um, lots of different uh, variations, but again, the rocket heater and and up into your chimney. And this chimney does not have to be exposed; um, it can be incorporated right into the wall if you wanted to. All right, so there's that. Okay, so after you built the base part of the building, um, the, this 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 line right here is pretty much the front of the building. Let's get a side view of that. Let's whoa, out of control here. Now I'm upside down. Give me a minute to straighten this up. Okay. This first or primary glazing is installed at an angle, and that is so in the winter time you get the maximum amount, amount of sun through here, <coughs> just like if it was regular glazing, but uh, or, or vertical, straight vertical. Um, the, the 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 sunlight can penetrate to the back of the of the building. Okay, in the summertime when the sun is almost directly above you, you get very little penetration. So You'll only have have a few feet of <clears throat> solar gain during the summertime. In turn, to help keep the house cooler in the wintertime, you'll have the maximum amount of solar gain to help keep the house up. The other thing is, is when the um, when the when the light is coming straight through the window or at very little angle, you get a lot of penetration. If the sun is directly above and it's hitting here, you're going to get a lot of deflection, a lot of reflection off of that glazing at that angle. So <clears throat> you'll have a lot of uh, a lot of sun coming out into this area. So um, in you, in your conception phase, you can have this in your back pocket. This whole terrarium, I guess we'll call it. We've got uh, we've got some. Um, pond um, items out here that you can incorporate uh, a, a garden <clears throat> lots of different items so but you don't need to do that right away this can be an addition to the front of your to, to your front of your house so what you can do is you can put uh, you know planters in your garden right here and you can even have your plumbing coming out here your gray water uh, to, to water it you can put uh, some planters along the inside as well. So then, if you if you moved in, or what am I trying to say? If you added this on, then you could just you know just alter it. <clears throat> just keep in mind if that's what you want to do eventually, you know, kind of prep prep your uh, your uh, prep yourself for it. <coughs> um, obviously, the roof section is not shown here, but uh, it's nothing more than a roof and. Uh, covered in solar panels and you would have a water collection system at the lowest point and here it would be right along here um, you would you would bring that in and, and run it to, to storage tanks for water runoff but the other is a, you know sort of covered in solar panels you just make sure that your angle is 
is right for the for the winter solstice. So when the sun comes in, you you hit that first set of panels. <coughs> okay. Let's see what else we got going on in here. Yeah, I really like the idea of this passage way in the back here. Now, even if this wasn't, uh, um, if this was dug into the back of a bank, I, I think I would like to see that wrap around a little further and have an entrance way from the outside. And that could have a door on, basically, uh, have a corridor all the way through. Anyway, there it is. There's a passive solar house. And this particular design was, was uh, had intended to use rammed earth and tires and, and bottle glass and, and, and clay or cob. <clears throat> but your uh, building materials may differ. All right. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to click like if you like this video. Uh, subscribe. I uh, try to share as many ideas as I can come up with or, or put ideas together that uh, has been uh, uh, presented by other people. Just uh, I uh, <clears throat> regurgitate my interpretation of it all. So, all right. Thanks.